Hey there, Sean Bailey, the Sales Funnel Nerd, and welcome to this video. Today, where we're going to jump in to building our webinar confirmation page or a thank you page for our webinar funnel, essentially. After they've decided yes, I want to check out this webinar, put in their name and email address, confirmed. Uh, this is the next page that they're going to land on. So, we want to do some things here with this, and yeah, let's have some fun and build out a page. Okay, so I'm going to call this page Webinar Confirmation. Very creative, I know, but all we have to do is just click Create Funnel Step. After that's done, we just go into the list of templates, and choose the one we want, and then customize. So we go to Webinar, and we want to go with Thank You. So here we can see we've got some templates to choose from. I like this one. Let's go for it. And then we just click on to Edit Page. I'm opening up a new tab. We jump in. So now we're going to go and leave this as far as thanks for registering. Now this one here, you can see there's lots of things that we can do. We've got a video set up where we can tell them uh, what to do before the web class starts as far as watching a video. This one has it set up for people to sign up for a two-week trial before the webinar even starts, right? So that's kind of cool, getting people to go and set up a free account. Again, we can have more videos. We can also have what I like, uh, one of the techniques I've seen used on this thank you page is to have some type of worksheet for people to print out and have ready because there'll be certain elements of the worksheet that are blanked out that will get filled in on the webinar. So that kind of gives people more incentive to to show up and attend. Uh, here, we would just go in and change this, right? Event ticket for, I like this as far as a little ticket icon. Uh, event ticket for, and we'll just call this uh, sales funnel goodness. Don't forget to mark in your calendar um, here. Yeah. Say sales funnels. There. Big bold message on there as far as how to do this. Uh, you know what? We don't need a subhead because that headline just said it all. And then we just customize and change the date. Here, it's not at 12. We'll just say it's at 2. Super simple. And then once I've made my changes, I just hit save. And of course, I can preview it anytime to see how it looks, make sure I got it all right. And that's it. Uh, I do want to say don't pass up the. Uh, even though they're small and on the bottom going in, I, I always go in and take the time to set up these links here as far as any type of legal and compliance. Uh, I am not a lawyer in any way, shape or form, so I'm not giving you any type of legal advice in any way. Uh, but do have these elements, uh, you know, like my, my advice to you, my non-legal advice to you is to make sure that you have your legal and compliance links set up on your page because one, it's good in the event of needing those types of links, but two, it's just kind of good to have that appearance as well. Right? Right, to look like a professional and have that type of stuff set up here right so going in here and you know setting up all you have to do as far as editing this highlight that and then i want to click on the little link chain here and i just change this to http colon slash slash www uh, slash policy done now i like to hit save after each time i've done that because uh, that makes sure that it, it gets the, the it gets applied there. And you can see now that it's changed, right? Uh, that it's been hyperlinked. And then, of course, I like to go after I saved it. I like to preview, go over, check out the page, test out all my links, make sure that they're, that they're set up and that they work there, right? So do make sure you fill out the small things on this page here. Make sure that overall you're reminding them, again, when it is to maximize and promote attendance here. So this extra stuff as far as videos, you know, don't let things hold you back from putting on your first webinar. Uh, but you know, like as you go and, and progress, you want to have these types of elements here and, uh, uh, videos, especially with something like a video, you know, do this before the class starts, uh, with how you know pervasive video is and how easy it is to do video, uh, something that is, you know, an easy option. So that's it. Go build your own webinar registration page, webinar thank you page, and try it out. Customize your own and uh, play around with the editor and have some fun with it. And I will see you in the next video.